Welcome back to Avocation X. Clyde here is your host. Once again, before I begin, hit that like button. Let's help us pass that algorithm. Subscribe, become a member, crush that bell, don't miss anything going forward. Folks, today we are talking investments. My one particular investment I'd like to talk about right now is none other than ticker symbol TSLA. That is Tesla. Elon Musk's Tesla. Now, first thing I want to let you know is this. Full disclosure, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not a financial advisor. I advise myself, and that is based on the information that I can glean around the investments that I am making. So, this is your opportunity to get my insight as to what I'm doing and why. So I look at my holdings with ticker symbol TSLA, and I am looking to increase those numbers exponentially. So as each of my other positions become green to my target, I will be liquidating those and putting it all into ticker symbol TSLA. Now, let me give you some insight as to why. In this last little while, if you've noticed, nobody has let up on Elon Musk or Tesla. They have become public enemy number one. Remember, once they get to this stage of the game and all they can do is fight you, that means you have succeeded. There will be no stopping the progress from here on. Everybody and their brother has had some negative things to say about Tesla, including people who have never driven in a Tesla or even touched one or looked at one up close. They have nothing good to say. Why? Because they have been exposed to more FUD than probably any other company in history. But here's the thing ticker symbol T-S-L-A has continued to thrive and thrive and grow. Their numbers have exponentially been growing each and every quarter. So what does that tell me? It tells me that my judgment has been right. So again, I'm not your financial advisor. I advise myself, but I'm giving you the benefit of what I see. And what I see is this. The numbers for Tesla continue to increase. They've topped their numbers once again from 200, just over 200,000 for the last quarter before to 241,000 deliveries. I guess that's an indication that their interest is dwindling. Is the demand going away for Tesla? I think not. And by the numbers we can tell Absolutely not. Tesla's margins have grown over and over again, while others are sinking. GM, Ford, Stellantis, Chrysler, all sales are dropping, dropping precipitously. So, I'm going to ask you, who do you think is going to survive this onslaught? Is Tesla going to be the one to rise above the FUD and electrify the future of our world? Again, my suggestion, based on my information gathered, is yes, they will. Who's going to be the first car company to go bankrupt? Are you set on GM? As you know, GM has had to recall every bolt that they ever made. I'm sorry, but wow, that was a huge error. A rush to market with a super inferior product. Blowing up in people's garages, blowing up in their driveways. Now they're requesting that you park your bolt at least 50 feet away from any other vehicle or structure. Um, I don't know. How many people have a 150-foot driveway that they can park right in the middle of and not uh, 
interfere with trees, buildings, or other vehicles. Uh, okay, so what's your guess? Ford put out their mach -E. And guess what? I am probably one of their top fans. Not of the mach -E, but of the actual Mustang. I've had a Mustang or two or three in every single decade gone by prior to my 2004 convertible. So, I would say that I'm a pretty avid Mustang lover and I cannot stand the Mach-E. I don't care if it's electric, gas, diesel, or anything, I wouldn't buy that thing of my life dependent on. So, what I'm trying to get across to you is this. If an avid fan of the Mustang, which I have heard the opinions of many avid fans, or should I say ex-avid fans, they're saying they cannot stand this mach -E either. They do not believe that it can be considered an actual Mustang. Wearing that symbol on its fake grill, to those of us who really love the Mustang, it's an insult. A major insult. But, hey, it's their choice. And those of you who are saying, oh, but the Lightning, are you kidding me? They use the F-150 banner on the Lightning? Uh, again, guys, I, I don't know where you guys are at, but as far as most of us that I'm hearing from, this is the reason why they only have, what is it? Uh, they say, 150 reservations? Yeah, I don't believe it. But if they do, that's still a tiny, tiny portion of F-150 fans. Remember, F-150 is their hottest selling item, bar none. So, let's look at that a little closer. If we don't like the Mach-E, and we hate the fact that they use the moniker for the Mustang, if the Lightning should not be bearing the F-150 banner, and therefore the orders are really low, um, what do you suppose is going to happen to Ford? Now, we also have Stellantis, right? Chrysler, Dahmer, Chrysler, whatever you want to call them. They change their name weekly. Probably more than some bikers change their underwear. I can say that. I'm a biker. Anyways, I would say nobody's even talking about them. The only positive thing you can say about them is their Ram truck series. And even at that, they're not the leaders and they're about to get crushed by the Cybertruck. So, again, folks, please tell me, who will survive? Who will survive this by the end of this decade? Who will be left standing? Who's the first to go down? Who's the second to go down? Tell me in the comments. I really would love to know. One of these days, I'm going to figure out a way to put a poll on this uh, on this uh, channel, and we'll be able to get people's opinions on many, many, many things without having to go through each and every comment. But I will read each and every comment, and I will respond as best I can to each and every comment. Okay, so there's our question. Let me know what you think. I will not sell one share. I will start to accumulate more and more shares as I liquidate more and more of my positions. That is my advice to me. Let's see what you guys are going to do. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget, hit the like button. Subscribe. Become a member. Crush that bell. Don't miss anything going forward. And hey, we never give up and we never give in. But we'll always keep an open mind because knowledge is our power. And we're not giving up our power. Not for anything. So, stay safe, stay healthy, and above all, stay as happy as humanly possible.